Here we are, day two of PAX East coverage. I know yesterday was not much of a uh, an event because, well, it's not really my. I, I haven't purchased any Friday tickets, so if, if lucky luck comes what comes my way, then I would have been able to um, go straight to PAX from the airport. But jet lag's gonna jet lag would have been a major issue. But anyway, I am here at Union Station. I'm just in a different place this time around because the normal place I would wait to for the train. Well, let's just say that some people aren't very appreciative of vloggers. So yeah, I'm getting excited to see what PAX has to offer. Of course, not many, not many of my favorite booths are gonna be there this year. Like I said last video, rip Twitch. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what's new from some major devs. Catch you at the con. Don't pause. Press play. Don't pause. Press play. Don't pause. Press play. Don't pause. Don't pause. Press. You know there are times that. Uh, you know there are times like this where I wish PAX was actually in a time where there was warmer weather. Besides, remember PAX 2016? I think I found her, man. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so much vlogs. Yes! So much! <laughs> yeah. That day was a much warmer PAX compared to this. Holy god. And 2017 was worse, I can tell you that much. But in all seriousness, if you uh, if you live in the Worcester area and you decide to take the train into Boston for PAX or some or some other convention, there's going to be a lot of things you'll miss when you when you come around here. Like for example, the sightseeing. And for those of you watching vlogs as well, there's a lot of other sightseeing around Boston, like over there, the Boston Tea Party that you'll that you'll miss a lot. Of. Well, as well, just some generic sightseeing. Uh, at least that's not interesting as as what you'll see coming up when you get to the convention center. If you get here early enough at the convention, this is the kind of uh, this is the kind of stuff that people want to see. That's why I'm making that. our entertainment right there. <laughs> <laughs> one thing. This year it's been too many merchandising, so little games so far. Can't even find anything. Damn. Well, I found a boy up finally. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. At least I'm not annoying him like the last few vlogs. Look, no one's ever really annoying me. Unless they are annoying me. But no one really ever knows that, because I never tell anyone. <laughs> but you're not annoying me. There you go, there you go. That's a good explanation. And just before the day is over, I'm about to head into Albatross, right over there where those enforcers are. I got want to have get a quick shot before they yell at me for Jackbox. 
I know I've uh, played a couple Jackbox games t today downstairs, but the real business is here at this panel. This is my first time at this panel after seeing videos of it for so long. I cannot wait. So, everybody, I'm a prop and my spouse keeps taking my stuff. I hate it. Listen. Don't read over my shoulder, Jerry. I'll get to it. <laughs> Introducing the carrier top. <laughs> well, let's start with an ordinary household toilet. Lift the lid, and inside are all my gags and goofs. Finally, carrier top. Let me hang out in my dream a little bit longer. Carrier top. Please, the onset of four. <laughs> of a novel fluid onto the person asking the question. What if you're absolutely done with this kind of horse shit? Do I know you? day two of my coverage of PAX, uh, from day three of the convention, actually. You know, to be honest, like I said in the, in the, earlier in the video, I'm not very excited about what, what's, what's going on around this year's PAX. A lot of titles and developers that I'm not really, uh, really aware of, or particularly not interested in. I mean, sure, we're trying to get some guys out there, but tap into the interest of some of your best attendees. That would help out a lot, wouldn't it? But either way, I'm happy that I attended a Saturday PAX where at least I was able to go through at least every single developer that I wanted to at least visit and stayed at the ones there where I was interested in. Maybe I caught a new, new few ones here and there. Maybe uh, tomorrow, if I get the chance to, I'll just stop by a, a dev that I don't even know and if I find an interesting game, then sure, I might consider it. But until then, I think I am done with my own endeavors for PAX, for this year at least. But yeah, see you tomorrow.
smart. <laughs> what? Is it something about me? No, no. Oh, never mind.